Hi again, YouTubers. So this is my first haul of the new year. Um, most of them are things that I picked up kind of over the holidays and one thing that was shipped to me while I was away. So first thing I'm going to start with is when I did a, I guess it was an overview, like comparison video on stick concealers because a lot of people wanted to know about the Clay Depot and the Hourglass one. Um, a lot of people recommended to me the Tarte Smooth Away Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer. And this is what it looks like and it is a smaller concealer stick than normal, than you would normally see. It's much smaller this way. Um, but I did pick this up because I was in a Sephora and I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And I really and truly have been loving it. I've been using it every day. You can see how much I've already gone through. I picked it up in the color light and it's really smooth. It's very pigmented, very nice product so far. I have it on today. Um, I don't have a whole lot on, but I'm really liking it and I'm definitely enjoying it. The only draw, I don't remember the price. I'll put all the prices on my blog. The only drawback to me is that the size is smaller. Also, while I was in, while I was in there, um, I'd seen a video by, I think it was Lisa Lisa D1 on a YSL palette. It had five colors in it and it was called number three. I think uh, I actually picked it up, but it's, um, where is it say? I don't know, but it was like number three. Yeah, it does have the number three on it. But, so I went in the store, I saw it there. I was like, perfect, I'm gonna pick it up. I picked it up. It was the wrong, when I got home, I never opened the box. It was behind the number three. I took it home, it said number three on the top. I never looked at it. There are ones that are five colors, and then there are ones that are four colors. And they just have numbers on them. For some reason, when I got home, somebody must have put the number three, four color palette behind the number five one. So when I got home, it was like blues and something else, which were colors that I wasn't gonna use. So I still have that, I have to take that back. But, um, so then I went back another time when I was in there to pick up, oh, sorry, I forgot one thing, uh, to pick up the correct one. And it is the Five Color Harmony for Eyes in number three. And this is what it looks like. And they're beautiful, beautiful colors. They're gorgeous. They're just so pretty and they're all, they all have a shimmer to them, but they're great for colors for blue eyes. Like they're just beautiful, beautiful colors for blue eyes. Oops. They come with little sponge tip applicators, which I don't really use, but um, packaging is very pretty. It's the first YSL um, eyeshadow palette that I've owned. So, uh, and while I was in there, I had a sample of this and I had tried it and I really loved it. Um, for a while I talked about it in my Mali Mascara video and I had used it for quite some time and then when I ran out I went and it was a sample size then when I ran out of the sample I went to the Dior Show primer type product and I just didn't like it so while I was in Sephora I picked up the one that I had the sample of that I really liked and it is the Lancome Sills Booster XL this is what it looks like and it is just a mascara primer kind of product. Um, typical mascara wand, so easy to apply. It doesn't get sticky, it doesn't get gunked up, it doesn't get clumpy. It just is a really nice product that I like with all of my mascaras. So that being said, I also think while I was away in my last haul for 2011, I think it was, I had posted that I had picked up a bunch of Paracone MD um, skin products and that I was super excited and I was really liking them and I had used the sample setup and I love that and that I bought full size of all of them and I got them from all different places and I was so excited about it and then somebody mentioned to me I knew not to while I was pregnant not to use retinols which is fine which was in the evening one which I realized after I picked it up after I got the full size bottle so I stopped using that one but in the meantime, somebody mentioned to me the Paracone MD has um, something in it called DMAE, and I can't even say what that is, but you can see it on his website. It's talked about if you just Google his products, and it's supposedly a very similar item, but different to retinols. So people had told me, a couple people had commented to me, which I'm very thankful for, that I should do some research and check and see if that's safe for pregnancy because 
you know, there wasn't much research yet on it and people weren't sure and this, that, and the other. So I did some research <clears throat> on it and I also called my doctor to double check with her and asked her what her thoughts are on it. It took her a couple days to get back to me um, because they had trouble finding information on the product uh, that's in there. And so what we kind of concluded is there is no set research that states if there are any issues. If it's ingested like orally, there can be complications but topically on the skin, they couldn't find anything, but um, I talked to my doctor and both she and I were like, it's really not worth the risk. So that being said, I have all this Paracone MD stuff. I'm away, I'm also um, at our summer house, which has like no like real shopping centers, I'll call them. Like they have lots of like boutiques and little shops and things like that, but they don't have like any big, like they don't have a Sephora or even an Ulta or anything, like there's drugstores. Um, and there's one mall that's about like 45 minutes away, half hour, 45 minutes away. So I started kind of doing some research and I'm like, okay, let me look into this. Let me find skincare that is not going to be just drugstore skincare that I can buy while I'm here and that I can use and it'll be safe. So uh, people told me Kiehl's, there was nowhere to get Kiehl's. People told me, um, I forget what the name, there was some other company but it was a company that you could only order online and have shipped to you. And I really didn't want to wait that time. So then I started kind of researching in the origins because I figured Kiehl's and origins are kind of like, you know, they're supposed to be like more all natural and things like that. Um, which some of their stuff is not all of their stuff is. So luckily enough, that mall that was the closest mall to me, um, has an origins counter. So I did some research. I talked to, my doctor who seemed to think that most of the products, but anything that had like silytic acid in it or uh, beta hydroxy acid in it or retinols in it, I couldn't use obviously. So um, I did some research, kind of went back and forth with my doctor, with the online. And I also talked to one of their consultants like online, one of those online chats about which products were pregnancy safe and which products you know would also work for what I needed them for, for my skin right now. So I got all the different things and I went into the store and the funny part is the girl that was working the counter had just had a baby which was really great because I was able to talk to her about what she used, how it worked for her, things like that. And all of the things that they recommended for me on the online chat were exactly what she said she would recommend short of the eye cream. So I'll tell you what those are. The first one is the Origins United State Balancing Toner. And this is what it looks like. And I already have the Origins Checks and Balances um, face wash and I use that anyway so I already had a little sample with in my travel stuff so I was able to pull that out and use that and when I got home I have the full size but so this is the toner that they suggested for me and it smells really nice it has like a kind of a little bit of a menthol but uh something else there scent I really like it it, it has a not floral I don't know it's very natural scent to it but it smells good the next thing is the origins brighter by nature skin tone correcting serum and this is what it looks like. I use the face wash night and day, the toner night and day, this item night and day, which this seems super tiny to me, um, but one pump covers my whole face and like down my neck. So, I mean, I'm liking it. Um, it's a nice product, it's very thin, it soaks in very, very quickly. Um, I'll go to the eye cream last. The day item they said was the starting over age erasing moisturizer with mimosa. This is what it looks like, and I can't remember. It has a kind of orange scent to it. It's very nice, very nice in the morning. Uh, the night one is the Dr. Andrew Wheel for Origins Night Health Bedtime Face Cream. This one has more, if I, kind of like an earthy smell to it, um, which isn't my favorite, but it doesn't, the scent doesn't stay around real long, but I've been liking that. And then they had suggested to me had. I don't know which, I forget which eye cream it was they had suggested to me, but when I went in and talked to her, she, first she thought the ginseng one, and then she said the ginseng one is really good to remove, like, I think it's darkness, but she said this one that she suggested for me was better for removing darkness and helping keep, like, fine lines away, and it's the Plantscription Anti-Aging Eye Treatment, 
and it also has a little bit of caffeine in it, just a very little bit. Um, and I really, it's so, so like that has no scent to it, but I mean, I barely like this, that is all I use for both eyes. Like it is so smoothing and so soft. So I'm really liking these things. I'm definitely using them. I'm thankful for everyone for telling me that that was super great because I wouldn't have known that because I was just looking for retinols in these items. Um, then I, when I got back, I had gone into CVS. I forget why. I think, I don't know. There's always a reason I have to go into CVS. Um, but I picked up a couple different things. I picked up this, um, item by Maybelline. Someone told me, a couple people told me to try it, um, instead of the Revlon lip butters and it's the Maybelline baby lips. This is what it looks like. It's nice. It's not great. It's in pink punch and it does smell like a weird pink punch but the color is kind of like I don't know it's weird it kind of like crackles a little bit I don't know it just doesn't look natural it's right there <coughs> <coughs> sorry god this cough <coughs> it's not going away so oh god sorry not going away um then I picked up the Maybelline color tattoo 24 hour eyeshadow in bold gold. I've heard these are kind of like the, <coughs> so sorry, um, Giorgio Armani. So we'll see. Then I heard people talking about these and it's the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. I picked up color 15, rose petal and 40, pink plum. This is what they look like. I think they're supposed to be replacing these Dream Mousse blushes, which I really loved this one in Peach Satin. I tried this um, just one day randomly. I got up and put a little bit on. They're very weird. It's kind of like putty. It's very strange, so I'll have to play with those. Um, last part is, is the, I got home and I had a package um, and it was my new beauty test tube. This is what it looks like, the box that it came in. Um, I, oops, I opened it up, but I really haven't had a chance to go through it. Oops, comes in a tube. Usually these are clear. Um, it also comes with, sorry, put this down here. It comes with a copy of their magazine. Oh, this is a big one. I also get the QVC test tube, um, but I haven't gotten that one yet. They usually come in at different times, which is a little bit different. Um, all right, so let's see here. First thing is first in the test tube. The test tube is $29 before shipping every three months. This is the Intensive Peptide Skin Recovery Complex. This is what it looks like, little container. Here's the downside. I can't try a lot of skincare right now because of this. Um, what the heck? I can't even say this. It's a treatment cream. It doesn't smell like anything. If you want to see if you can see that word. I have no idea what that is. So that's that. Another spa look gift card, which I did use those when I ordered the Paracone MD, but you don't need those because they always have codes at the top for uh, money off. Um, Miracle Skin Transformer 20. Oops. In the color medium. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> I do have a full size of this. I like it, but I don't love it. Anti-fatigue eye mask kit. Oh, I wonder if I can use that. That would be fun. I'll have to look into that. Um, well, they sent us one of these last time. Macadamia natural oil. Um, it has a mask and an oil in here. I might just give that away. Do a giveaway with it. Because I have full size of those. Lumine Sensitive Touch. Apply this clean skin. Doesn't say what it is. The good side is, I will say too, is it comes with this little book and it tells you what all the items are. So it gives you more information, which sometimes you need when you do something like that, when you see something like that. Dr. Brandt Microderm Abrasion Exfoliating Face Cream. You can use that. And the Mirai. Clinical Formula Purifying Body Spritzer. Hmm. Interesting. That was not my favorite beauty tube. Not impressed with that one at all. Usually I'm like wowed by at least one thing and excited to try a couple others. 
not really much on this one. This one wasn't a very good test tube. So that being said, that is my haul. That's everything. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.